I'm just here with Cody Manning, uh, who's nominated for the draft this year, 2017. Cody, tell me uh, your thoughts uh, about getting drafted and playing AFL. Oh, it'd be a dream, really. I mean, that's what you want as a kid. Um, it's what you push for with playing football. You just want to play your best and obviously um, reach your dream of playing AFL. So it'd be a dream come true if I got it. Yeah, so it's been a passion for a long time, something you always wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, since a kid, I've always tried to get there and go through the steps with getting to West Perth and through the development to the seniors and just as far as I could go. And uh, you've been at West Perth for a while, you've played what, about 100 odd games now? Yeah, finally reached 100 this year, a bit longer than it should have, but yeah, finally clicked over the 100. And you had a, a pretty good season this year, didn't you? Uh, what did you play, about 19 games and uh, averaged what, 17 possessions or something? How did you think you went this year? I think it was probably my best year that I've had so far. I mean, um, got onto it early with strength program with one of my mates, Corey Green. Um, he helped us out a lot with my body, making sure it was strong and kept me in touch all year. And I just was able to play consistent footy, which I wanted and it showed with what I achieved. So you're able to have a good pre-season get the foundations right and, and this year it really paid off? Yeah, I mean, I just focused on pretty much having fun and doing the job that I'm um, was given and the best of my ability and obviously I did that this year and I felt it as well with my body, I was confident so it showed in, on the field. Uh, your body's let you down a little bit over the years hasn't it? You've had a few niggly injuries and uh, sort of unlucky at times and set, set you back a few times. Yeah, I mean it's just a bit of soft tissue that I was able to get over and then um, the strength program just wasn't right for me and just kept happening until um, I found a, my friend Corey from the Athletic Institute and he, I told him what's the problem and he got onto it and helped me out quite a bit with making sure my body was flexible, strong and um, yeah, doing all the right things to help me and he did his job. Uh, so this year Bill he played you in a few different positions, um, down back, up forward, sort of different roles, um, where did you enjoy playing and uh, uh, what's your, your favourite positions? Oh, that's a hard one really, I mean he played us um, off the half back because he wanted the, my pace and obviously my long kicking but if I need, they need a hand in the midfield I like going in there because I'm in an under type play I'll go get it and I'm not afraid of contact or anything of that um, but I do like forward because putting the pressure on that results in a goal um, I mean that's what you want for your team and obviously to come away with a win is even better but I have to go probably maybe half back just like seeing all the ball in front of me and um, when it's kicked into my area that one on one I just get real competitive and obviously want to try and beat the guy who I'm on and winning gets gives, yeah, gives me a bit of a kick so and that competitive nature uh, you know, You've been uh, given the tasks of a, a few roles and t uh, some key forwards have to, to focus and, and take out. Well, not so much take out, but uh, to, to eliminate their um, th their potential uh, impact on the game. Um, what's some of the roles you've had this year? Um, one of them probably most noticed was on Liam Ryan. Um, pretty much we knew what he was good at, his pace and he jumps a lot. So um, all I had to do is take his jump out, I'll get in early, make sure of body contact because not a lot of people that lost to him, they didn't put body contact and that's what I recognised and did that and he didn't chase or he doesn't put that pressure on so as soon as we won the ball I was gone and just tried to find each other's weakness and strengths and uh, my strengths and use it against him and yeah. yeah he's a quality player isn't he? And, uh... So uh, did he kick many goals when you were actually on the ground and standing in? Uh, I think the most he's kicked on me was two. Um, there was one game that I was off twice and he, he's quick and he got the two goals there. Um, so that was a bit annoying, but I think the most he's kicked was two on, two on me. And uh, you played state footy this year, um, the WA versus Victoria in Victoria. and. Um, the boys brought home a win, uh, the first time in ever I think it was. Uh, what was it like being involved in that game? Something special, I mean it was just 
um, nice enough to get selected in the team, but then to actually make the team to head over there to have a chance at becoming um, history. You know, 113 years, I think it was. You haven't beaten them over there. So to go over there with a bunch of mates um, and do that was quite something special. It was like a grand final in a way to win that. So, yeah, it's definitely good. And uh, is it true you, you broke your cheekbone at the, the, in the first quarter or something? Yeah, first minute. First minute. Um, first minute, first tackle. As I do, came in with pace and got the back of someone's head. Um, I wasn't too sure. I was asking one of my mates if it was or wasn't because I was just feeling it. Um, but then I just didn't stop the way you played at yeah, all, did you? I just forgot about it. Just kept going. Yeah, well, I've seen the highlights reel and uh, it's uh, quite impressive. You know, your attack on the player is, and, and the attack on the ball in particular and the fair and clean was quite impressive. And then to, to hear that you've got a broken cheekbone doing that, that's you know, it's certainly quite amazing. <laughs> So outside of footy, you play any other sports and other interests? I like to do quite a bit. Um, I like playing golf with a few mates. Definitely something different, just a bit calm in a way. Um, I like doing surfing. Um, I do like outdoor stuff, so I like dirt bike riding, um, camping, fishing. Keeping yeah. active and getting the, the great outdoors. Pretty much, just having fun. Yeah. And what sort of work are you doing at the moment? Uh, Department of Sport and Rec, so I'm an instructor. So pretty much we take um, mainly school groups, so year sevens to 11, year 11s, um, outdoor activities. So rock climbing, flying fox, caving, just all outdoor stuff, try and get some teamwork and team building um, together for them. That because now year sevens are high school, a lot of kids are coming from different schools and not knowing each other, so we just try and break that barrier between each other and pretty much create new friends that they wouldn't um, associate maybe at school with. So yeah, we just break down barriers and get kids to come together. Fantastic. And uh, after the footy or when um, footy is not the main focus anymore, and any other career choices or any vocation you're looking at? Uh, I'm an active person, so looking into the, um, the force type job, so your, your defence force or your police, fire, just something like that that's outdoors and hands on, always just you know, doing something new or playing around with my hands on something, a machine or yeah, just anything hands on and active. You're very active, uh, for sure. Uh, or I remember reading an article once about you when I'm doing a half marathon down to Barcelona. Tell me a bit about that. Oh yeah, one of my, um, well, it wasn't my mate to start with, we were actually um, opponents on the field. My uncle, he's with Swan District, so he told um, Simo or Simpson, um, go punch Cody for me. And <laughs> I gave him one back and I said, go give that to my uncle. And we pretty much had a good competitive nature of each other. We cross a white line and we're not friends. We fight and everything and then Simon goes and we're good friends. And unfortunately, he lost a child early um, and he's doing a half marathon to raise money for um, the foundation. And I gave him a call and said, oh, I'm interested if you want to look, um, if you want it. And he goes, oh yeah, for sure. Um, and I think it quite stumped him because were opponents really and I'd come and do it with him um, and then I think about two and a half weeks earlier tweaked my quad a bit so that didn't help but I still did it I said to myself or, and my parents I'll only do 10 I got to 10 and I went no nah, I'll keep going so I finished the 21k up for him and yeah I think it says a lot about your character <laughs> it does yeah um, so WA born and bred and West Perth uh, quite a lot. Um, if you, you got drafted the other side of the country or anything, would, um, would that bother you relocating? Or? No, um, I mean I've got family over in Victoria as well so they'd be able to help me out but it would just be the mainly knowing where to go because <laughs> I've been here for so long I know ins and outs, all the shortcuts around Perth and to go somewhere new will be different but it would be an experience I'd look forward to. 
And if you don't get drafted, um, what's the plan there? Uh, continue on at West Perth and, and keep the, the hopes open still? Yeah, I mean, I'll give it another crack and try and outdo the year that I've had previously and put my hand up again, so that's all I'll do. That's all you can do, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, look, I, I wish you all the best in the, in the upcoming draft. I, I hope you do get drafted. Um, you're a ripper of a bloke, and um, I think you deserve that opportunity. You, you've had a great year, and uh, fingers crossed, Cody, and really hope it happens for you, mate. Thank you.